Now, have you gotten a lot of backlash since you've left uh, GOCC? Yeah, man, uh, I get plenty. <laughs> really? <laughs> but it's it's it's. But at the same time, too, I've been getting plenty of love, plenty of support. Gotcha. From the greater uh, Christian community. Yes. Okay. You, you, you know what I mean, and 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 right. that's well, for me. That's a that that um, holds more weight. You know. Uh, right. I, exactly. Um, and and the, the the main thing is is like as we're now I I mean I understand the truth of Jesus Christ exactly you know and that's more important than than anything you know it's more freeing right. than anything you know I, I, it is yep it is and and uh, I mean I, I totally agree with you on that man but plenty of backlash plenty of name calling and and plenty of lies uh, right being spoke about me it's it's but it's it's part and parcel you know I'm yeah. Okay. Wow. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's just like, you know, any other cult, you know, like you leave and, you know, now all of a sudden, you know, um, you know, I mean, even some cults, you know, they want to, they'll, they'll leave you as a mark man and stuff like that. When you decided to leave, like, did you uh, reach out to someone and say, Hey, you know, um, um, you know, I don't want to be a part of this anymore. Or were you just kind of like, well, you know, you just walked away and just never looked back. Man. I, uh, I, it was it was tough because you know I had a lot of family members inside the church. Oh, okay. And, and some of these people that you brought in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, wow. And it, and it's like I can't just leave. Yeah. You, you know, my father was like he was secretary. He was like the second guy in charge over here. Oh man, um, yeah. You you know what I mean? And and it's like what what am I supposed to just tell him about? Dude? That's yeah. Right. Come not come back to church. He's gonna be like, why? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, uh, oh, yeah. By, by the way, Dad, everything we've been learning is a lot. All right. <laughs> right. Yeah, I, I can see. <laughs> yeah, I can see see how that man that that'll just like really raise a lot of tension. Uh, yeah. So, so is, is is he still a part of that, or is he out? Oh, no, or? no, no. He's out of that. If, okay. If you, if you want to see a narcissistic at work, just type in uh, GOCC South Pacific Conference Call. And you hear a six-hour drilling of Rakar, Rakar or Richard at his at his finest, just being at his narcissistic oh, best. Oh man, six oh, hours. Man. He grilled me for six hours. I spoke on that call for two minutes, not even. Wow, and he just kept going back and forth, kind of oh, like yeah. what they do. Yeah, kind kind of like what they do now. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, yeah. you know, you start talking to them, and they just go from, you know, one thing to the next to the next, and it's almost like you gotta, you you can't even get 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 a breath in, you know? Yeah. It's funny they they will like they will never deal with they they'll have the issue is that that you got a problem with the doctrine why didn't you say anything well I said I said certain things you never listen right you know what I mean and wow. I, I I was like you know what these guys never uh, put in all the hours down here they never invested no money right. and and the opportunity came about where I never said anything right. Mm -hmm. But if anybody would ask me a question, I'd always tell the truth. Like one time someone said, because we're not allowed to say Jesus in that church. You can't oh, really? Say Jesus. You have to say Yeshaya. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, yeah. Because I know that there are some 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 camps. But but why say, do they say Christ, though? I mean, so so it's okay to say Christ, but not pick Jesus. Pick and choose. They pick and choose. You know how these guys are. They pick and choose. Like the old, they say you need to keep the laws of Moses, but they'll pick and choose which ones. You know? Right. <laughs> so. But. So, so do they hold to the whole letter J thing? Is, is that yeah, yeah, yeah. why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so so since, Je but do they like say like Jerusalem and yeah, yeah, you know, say Judah Jew, the that? Jews, the Jews, yeah, <laughs> okay, yeah. Wow. yeah, it's as you know, yeah. it's inconsistent, yeah, it really is. Wow, so so tell us about uh, um, what your ministry is doing now. Well, what do you guys do now? Uh, well, we, you know, we we had the big split, and we didn't know what to do. We we did join another group, but we we moved away from that as well because they still okay. held on to some some of the some cult beliefs. Yeah, 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 you know, non essential, yeah. non essential um, beliefs for the gospel. You know, gotcha. but you know, it was it was a messed up situation. I didn't know uh, how to handle it, or whatnot. You know, but uh, these days we're. we're um, we're a, 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 a small group uh, called Faith and Grace Ministries. Um, 
And uh, yeah, we just follow, you know, orthodox, uh, well, Christian orthodoxy, you know? That's right. No, wow. You know, the Sabbath's not relevant, like, it's not relevant to our salvation. So, uh -huh. you know, we don't talk about you have to keep it, you know? Um, the Sabbath and all of that stuff. Yeah, no, you know, the dietary laws and and all those things, they're, they're now, you know, it's and just so, faith, in, faith in grace alone, in Christ, and, you know, loving your neighbor as yourself. Gotcha. And that's what you guys are doing now. That's what we're doing now. Okay. Wow, man. So, so do you guys have like, um, you know, like, like an, um, active meeting place? Yes. Um, yes, yes. Okay. That's great. That's great. Yeah. man. and I just, it, it, it's, it's just great to see when, you know, the Lord brings us, you know, um, you, you know, a, a lot of us just, you know, just poor, wretched, broken sinners he just brings us out and just brings us you know and just keeps him keeps us for himself you know for his glory man and it's just you know it's, it's just so much to, to to rejoice about man i'm not giving a biased view uh uh for people that know me right. when i was part, when i was part of that I, when i joined that camp i didn't think i was ever going to leave that, that was in my head that was a, a lifetime commitment do you know what i mean yeah but it was a lifetime commitment to an organization. Right, know? exactly. And, and that's not how it's supposed to be. Right. Um, but, you know, I appreciate you having me on here. And, and, and you know, um, the reality is you're going to have people who claim that they're following Christ, but really they're just trying to find an identity something. or something. Yeah. yeah, like, you know, yeah, they're trying to find a doctrine that suits them. When It's funny because right. the, the gospel is so simple. It is. Why can't people follow it? <laughs> you know, and and, and um and it's crazy because it's like you know I, I like my family and I we we do devotion you know every morning and mm. you know we just start from Genesis and we're working our way you know from Genesis to Revelation and we just see you know man's selfishness you know man has to all it's almost like man has to put himself equal to God in some sense you know. Yeah. And I mean, this has been a problem since since the garden. You know, Adam and Eve. You know, they they didn't eat from the tree of life because they were hungry. They wanted to be equal to God because you know when the serpent came to Eve, and he said, you know, how come you're not eating from that tree? And you know, her response was was because God told us not to. And then he says, well, you know, um, no, she said God told us not to. He said that we would die. And then the serpent says, no, you won't die. You know, you'll become like God, knowing good and evil. So it was that desire to become like God is what kind of swayed them, mm. you know. Um, and it's just like that's just like with, with every cult, every you know, false religion, false doctrine, you know, it's always equating our, ourselves, you know, to God. And that's that's just what I've been, you know, that that's what I've been figuring out. Um, and it, it's just that it's just the nature of man. And this is why Jesus tells us that we have to be born again, you know, so we can be able to die to that nature. And be born, you know, um, be born again, and mm. to to be righteous, you know, in front of God, man. And it's just, you know, and just like I said earlier, um, you know, God has called all of us, you know, all of us who believe in Christ, you know, He's hand selected and He's hand picked us, no matter what sins, wretchedness, you know, we've been a part of, man. You know, like He's come and just hand selected us and picked us for picked us for His glory, man. And I'm just like, you know, just just so humble um i'm just reading some of these things uh so some of these people are saying uh certain things uh, um in the chat uh this one guy he says um as a christian leader and minister what brothers what bothers me more is the deceiving of people looking for the truth yeah you know and and, and i mean you know and that's just like you said uh earlier you know, when, when you were out searching for the truth, you know, you, you run into these guys uh, from these camps and stuff, you know. Um, there's, some, I, there, there's some genuine people, um, yeah. you know, because my situation, for instance, I wasn't in the church. My my, exactly. concern, yep. my, my concern is because a lot of people that came into the camp, right, they were mm -hmm. in a church. They were in a church that taught the gospel, right? And they left. And they left. You know wow. what I mean, and you yeah. know what I come, what I can, what I come to find out, these people left because they have evil in their heart. Yeah, Do you know what I mean. Not yeah. all of them, 
Not all of them. Some of them right. they come out because they've been deceived. But thank right. God they 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 got the truth again. Now they're uh -huh. back. They're back exactly. to to where they were. Thank God. Yeah, right? exactly. Um, you know, a little bit of egg on the face, but it's better to humble yourself. Say, yeah. hey, I was wrong. Yeah. You know? And and you know, whatever church you were part of before or whatnot, they'll they'll forgive you if they're in the right spirit. Exactly. But, but these ones that come out of these churches, because I've asked these questions, I've been asked a question one time by the, the Hebrew Israelite, like, they're like, oh, the churches aren't teaching the truth. And then I'm like, all right, what are, what what truth are they not teaching? Right. And then they're like, um, uh, Matthew, <laughs> Matthew 15, you know, the lost sheep. <laughs> and I'm like, right. Here, oh, that true. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. So who the Israelites are, you know, that's yeah. the truth that they're talking about. So um, yeah. uh, what I've seen, and, you know, this is another thing that, that uh, um, witnessed just being in leadership or whatnot and just dealing with people. Um, a lot of people that go into these cults, whether it be Hebrew Israelites or Hebrew, Isra uh, Hebrew, Hebrew roots, roots. Yeah. Um, Jehovah Witness, Mormons, whatever, it's like this one uh, sacred name groups, it's this mm -hmm. one upmanship over their brother and sister in Christ. Yeah, they want, oh, well, I he doesn't know God's name, I yeah. know God's name, or, or <laughs> do, do you know what I mean? It's just one upmanship, and I'm like. We gotta humble us. The, 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 I think it's in Corinthians. It tells us to to con, uh, to lower our sin to, to the men of lower state. You know. Um, yeah, exactly. You know, not to be high minded, but exactly. instead, Christians are the most. Sometimes we can be the most high minded and proud people you've ever seen. Uh -huh. You know, when the reality is, uh, and I remember Tim. I think his name is Tim Stella. Uh, he's a Presbyterian minister. Okay. He said uh, he did a thing on grace, and it was like. Grace, like we cannot, as Christians, we cannot boast. We cannot look our noses down at people because how did we receive? How did we receive salvation? Exactly, exactly. You know, and yep. and to <laughs> receive sal to receive salvation, you have to admit to God that I am a wretched man, that I am not worthy, that I am the lowest of the low. Exactly. You know? Yeah. So, so where are we getting this? Where how are we becoming pride, like prideful? Right. So where exactly. you know, this is not what we're meant to to be doing. So I've seen that a lot amongst Christians. You know, I keep yeah. like you know Sabbath on Thursday. Yeah, and and, and all this. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so, yeah, and some of these uh yeah, especially a lot of these um charismatic churches. You know, yeah. um, pe people do kind of, you know, brag and boast amongst each other and all of this stuff here. Mm -hmm. And it's just, um, you know, and, and sometimes, you know, quite frankly, you, you know, you get people who, who because I've been to, to a lot of these charismatic churches and, you know, after a while you kind of get sick of it and then you leave. And then it's just like sometimes, you know, within that grace period of of you trying to get out of that model of church and you're seeking like truth. And you want mm. somebody to tell you or answer your question straight up, you know, you may run into some of these people from these cults and they can just really suck you in. Um, you know, it's, I mean, just that quick, just that easy. Yeah, you know, that's right. And it, yeah. And, and it's just um, one trap to another. One, it's Yeah. Especially like now that we have the Internet. And I mean, it's just so easy for, for us to find anyone who's going to tell us exactly what we want to hear. That's true. You know, if I want to hear that I'm that I'm you know special because of the color of my skin, but I don't want to you know give up God, I don't want to give up Christ, I still want to read the Bible. I mean Hebrew Israelism, you know. I mean, uh, you know, if if I don't want to be if I don't want to be a part of any religion, you know, there's there's a lot of black atheists out there. There's the conscious community. There's you know, um, you, you just got so much stuff out there that you can just get into. Yeah. Um, and you know, just nowadays the Lord, um. You know, we just really see the work of the Lord and how he is keeping his people, how he is faithful to his people, you know. And Amen. I just want to let everybody know, um, you know, when we have talks like this, this is not to bash, you know, Hebrew Israelites or, or any other people, you know, who are a part of these cults. Like, we're just out here trying to get the truth out and we're trying to, you know, give you guys some insight to the thinking of, of some people, you know, who we may know. You know, there, there, there may be some people out there who may be a part of these things and, and we may not know how to, you know, approach them or how to evangelize properly. 
So it's just, you know, everyone who's watching, I just want to, I want you guys to keep that in mind. And this is why I do, you know, like dialogues. I try to dialogue with, um, I do dialogue with, with Hebrew Israelites. And, you know, and I love when I'm dialoguing with ex-Hebrew Israelite members because, you know, guys like you, Brother George, you know, you guys, um, you know, can give us some insight, can, can let us yeah. know exactly what the thinking is of people who are there because it helps our, you know, it helps us to be able to evangelize more effectively. You know, yeah, um, absolutely. We need more. We need one thing. We need more of is is apologists. We need yeah. more Christian apologists out there because, yeah. uh, especially dealing with this this um, demographic of people, yeah. because exactly. it's not enough. Uh, you know, to see um, uh, African American apologists come out, they, they this is because remember they they targeting youth. You got right. exactly they, they, as you know, con men. They don't. They don't go to, to the smart people or the yeah, learned people. Yeah, you know, uh, yep. that's they why they love weak. they love calling apologists devils and satans. Yeah. <laughs> you should, you should right. hear you should hear Ricard go on about the, oh, the satanic apologists. Yeah, yeah. You know, so, he's just <laughs> mad because you, you know because he has they, no response. You debunked. You've been debunked. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It is it's crazy, yeah. man. And uh, you're a bunch of you're a bunch of gentiles <laughs> trying to claim. Like this false thing, it's it's sad. Exactly. It's, yeah, it's it, it's just like even the um uh, with the nation of Islam. You know, mm. um, the nation of Islam has the same thing. You know, you got you know a bunch of black people who just say, you know, um, and actually, I think the guy who started the nation of Islam, I think he was from New Zealand. You know, W W Far Muhammad, and he started. <laughs> um, yeah, he was from New Zealand, and um, and he started the 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 uh, nation of Islam. And now it's just, you know, a bunch of black people saying that they are the original people, you know, um, you know, That's of crazy. Allah, you know, it's, and, it's, and, just, it's just remixed. And then Muhammad was like an Arab. Right. And, exactly. And, and, and he started it. And he, right. bragged, he bragged about how white he was in his hadiths. So exactly. Think, and they say that, well, no, Muhammad was black and the, and the Arabs that are over there now, these are people, you know, these are the imposters. Everybody is the imposter, the Jews. Over in Jerusalem or, or in Israel, you know, mm -hmm. those those are the imposters. Everyone just, you know. <laughs> yeah, so everyone's it, an imposter. Right, everyone. exactly. But exactly. if you're if you're a white guy that's down with us, hey, you could be a black dude. Exactly. Just, exactly. It's somewhere down the line. 